What's up, ninjas? What is up, what is up? Just wrapping up my day and I wanted to make this video because I felt like this was pretty important. A lot of us pull trailers, um, any kind of trailer, utility, open, enclosed. Uh, doesn't make a difference when it comes to this. It's very important. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. So earlier today, I had to stop and get a new tire because it was wearing out on the outside instead of on the inside, which is more common, more or less, I guess. But anyway, and it was getting really bad, so I had to get a, I had to get a new tire. As far as when it's wearing on the outside, if you ever have a tire that's wearing on the outside, there are a couple things that might be what's happening with your trailer. One of them, which the most common would be, and this goes for any tire, um, if you are running under the PSI, so that means if you know your tire is a little low, uh, you're more likely to wear on the outside, especially when you're turning and stuff. Uh, but the other one could be a bent axle, which would be a more serious thing, I guess. Um, my axles don't seem bent, but who knows? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell when you're just standing and looking at it and whatnot. <clears throat> but <clears throat> another one um, could be your bearings. But when when it's the bearings, which th it's not the case here, uh, you're going to have a lot of the wear on the inside uh, more than on the outside. <clears throat> so what I realized when I went in and they took off the old tire and put on the new tire um, I realized which obviously I can't do it now because it's fully loaded and it's heavy and the tires are back on and all that but when it was jacked up um, these right here were all pretty loose and there's just a lot of wiggle room and there shouldn't be any wiggle room. These should be super tight. Um, so, and these are connected to the leaf springs over here, yeah. <clears throat> and what I noticed then, since that caught my eye when I was over there at the shop, uh, I started opening my windows and listening to my trailer. And it was making a lot of squeaky noises and you know, when you say squeaky noises, like, don't give it up, Nick. Well, like, what kind of noises are we talking about? I mean, the trailer will make a lot of noises in general with bumps and things, especially when you got a heavy load on here. <laughs> um, so I'm not talking about regular noises like hitting bumps and stuff, but I'm talking about as you're driving and you just hear, like, you know, like when somebody takes a key and is, like, pulling it or just, like, squeak, squeaky noises. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about, like, the big metal noise when you're hitting a big bump. I don't know how else to explain it and just it's like squeaky noises um which made me just confirm that these are shot and I, you need to replace them so keep in mind any of you which most of us are who are pulling any kind of trailer there's a lot of movement in here you know especially a dual, dual axle trailer and it's just wear and tear over time that these things need to be replaced. So I went into the shop and I bought these and new bolts and the little plastic caps that go inside. But they didn't have this main one right here. They'd have to order it. So I went ahead and got them even though they didn't have this. So what I'm getting ready to do is take it all off and look at it and this one still might be okay. It might just be these right here. And the plastic stuff on the inside is probably all laid up. But if this one's still okay, then I'm just going to replace all these bolts and uh, these two pieces of metal on each side that are holding it. And, of course, the new plastic stuff that's the uh, on the inside <clears throat> that goes on the bolt. But if these are shot when I take them off, then I'll just put it back as is, and I'm not gonna replace anything just yet, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell them to order it. And it should be here probably within a week. This stuff is pretty serious. Uh, any of you uh, ninjas out there, like I said, 
pulling a trailer, keep that in mind as, as uh, you're using your trailer day in and day out that, you know, things will happen and you need to know the difference between these squeaky noises. Your trailer will talk to you and let you know what's going on. If you're going through tires, it could be the bearings, it could be this. This is, uh, you know, something that you're going to have to replace eventually, depending how much you use your trailer, which in my case, I use my trailer day in and day out every day. So, um, this black stuff is, it just got dirty when I was, uh, putting on new bearings and repacking them and everything. And I think I put a little extra grease and it shot out, but it's not coming out anymore. I just need to use some degreaser and clean it up. I just haven't had time. <clears throat> So, you know, and when you think about it, Ninja's like, I've had this trailer, I bought it, it was built in 2017, end of 2017, I bought it in the beginning of 2018. So if you look at it, all of 2018, all of 2019, all of 2020, all of 2021, and now going into half year pretty much into 2022. So, you know, four and a half years of nonstop usage and uh, things will wear out. So, to show you what I got, what they had, like I said, they didn't have that big metal piece in between, because if they did, I would have, I would have gotten it. But these are the little plastic things that I told you that, and they're not expensive, you know, two bucks basically. They go on the bolts, <clears throat> and I got the new bolts. And I got a bunch of these. And they're two bucks a piece too. So what will happen over time is these holes right here, they'll just get wider and bigger. And then you're gonna have a lot, there should be no wiggle room. When this bolt goes through, there should be no wiggle room. and when the hole opens up and gets bigger over time that bolt is going to start moving in there and that's the that's the part that's going to make a bunch of squeaky noises and uh, it will eat up your tires by the way so if you have a trailer that's eating up tires or you're going through a lot of tires keep in mind on these single axle but more likely on a dual axle because yeah, I don't think a single axle has these. I think just a dual axle because this is what connects one wheel to the other. So, anyway, I just felt like this was pretty important. I just finished with my day, had a good day, got everything done for the, today that I needed. Um, and uh, figured I'd stop and make this quick video to just point out, you know, something that... I, I'll make videos about stuff that I just think is really important uh, to remind all of you. Because nine times out of ten, I think most of us are pulling some kind of a trailer. I mean, I know some of us ninjas are probably, we have one of those all-in-one uh, that you can put a couple mowers in the bed of your truck. But majority of us, I think, are pulling some kind of an enclosed or utility trailer. So, yeah, that's, I'm glad I noticed that. And uh, what made me notice it is when I noticed the tire. You know, I keep keep an eye on, out on your for your tires, you know, always just check them out and look at them make sure they're okay and if uh, you see that one is wearing down first thing you should double check is of course air pressure um, which mine was not the case by the way um, it was like a, a pound or two difference which is not dramatic um, so it was not the PSI <coughs> but what I what I think dramatic difference on PSI is like I'd say probably like 10 or 15 pounds now that's dramatic and you need to go ahead and put some air in them for sure <clears throat> so yeah and ninjas this the dust out here is ninjas worst enemy I'm not kidding it's really bad I mean I, I don't know if you can even tell just by my voice I've been dealing with it for the last week and a half or so uh, starting to wear my mask and stuff I didn't at first and that's what got me <clears throat> I should have known better but uh, the pollen and it's just oh my gosh it's terrible out here we need more rain just to kind of wash some of this stuff down it's really bad but I stopped in my local OP box PO box check the mail and 
Figured before I head out to start on this, I wanted to just uh, really point this out to you and remind you this is real dangerous, of course. I mean, just if you're going through tires and you're you know, riding around with a bad tire, you can have a blowout and it, it could be a disaster, especially if you're on the highway. It could cause some serious damage, maybe even an accident. So you really want to keep an eye out on your tires and stuff. But um, yeah, these things will, will wear out. So keep that in mind. And, you know, when I look at it, four and a half years of this trailer nonstop every day, in and out, I'm not surprised at all. I did have to replace these before on my past trailer uh, that I ended up selling. So very familiar with that. And uh, that's what made me instantly, when I noticed my tire wearing on the outside, made me instantly uh, look into those and touch them and check them out. And I noticed there's just a lot of wiggle room and a lot of play. So that's that well there you have it that's what i'm gonna go do right now um i'm gonna take it off and at least look at it <laughs> and see if this is if this is not worn out and this hole is okay on this bolt right here and these bolts down here then i'll go ahead and replace these in those little plastic pieces and then i'll be good to go but if this is worn out then I'll just put it back together as is. I don't want to put the new stuff on when I still have to order this because I'm just going to have to do it again when this comes in. So I'm, I'm trying to not, you know what I mean? I don't want to do the job twice. So I'm just going to do one, take a look at it and go from there. Um, but if it does need it, I'm going to go ahead and stop by in the morning at my trailer place and just tell them to order it. They didn't have it. If they had it in stock, I would have just went ahead and gotten it. You know, it doesn't matter. It's good to replace it. Uh, even if it didn't really need doesn't really need it but they didn't have my size they had some smaller ones but not my size so anyway that's that it's just part of running a business part of pulling the trailer you know things like this will happen keep that in mind i hope all you ninjas are doing good hope everyone's staying safe out here and making some money and getting things done and here's this other side and, and see I notice there's a little wear on the outside of this one as well. Not not bad, but just enough if you look. Just enough for me to notice. So that tells me these bad boys are not good. Not good. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram at SG underscore ninjas underscore official, I've already shared on my story post just a little while ago of how the trailer what kind of noise it makes because i was uh, going down the road and you'll be able to hear that and also i'll go ahead and share some pictures and updates of what this looks like when i take it off and take a look at it here shortly so check that out if you want to of course all right i'm gonna go do that hope everyone had a wonderful what is it Thunder Pumper Tuesday, that's right. <laughs> Take care, ninjas. Peace.